Her boyfriend cheated on her, so she took him to Mexico and left him there. So this girl was dating a guy from Mexico who was apparently undocumented. That comes into play later. Anyways, at some point she found out that he was cheating on her with another girl. So instead of confronting him and losing the opportunity to get revenge, she decided to come up with a very clever plan. You see, she told her boyfriend that they were going to Six Flags. So this man was excited, he got his things, he got ready for Six Flags, and he was ready to go. But little did he know, she had no intentions of heading anywhere near Six Flags. Now during this drive, the girlfriend convinced the boyfriend that he should just sleep and let her drive. And he did eventually fall asleep, which was perfect for the girlfriend. Because if he was awake, he would have noticed that the GPS was set to go straight to the border. You see, while this man was sleeping, she decided to take him up to the border. And by the time he woke up, it was too late. There was no coming back. Now, she did not leave him in Mexico completely empty-handed. She gave him a small amount and basically said, good luck with your new life. Now, since this boyfriend was actually living with her in her apartment, this entire story kind of shows that you should never bite the hand that feeds you because they might decide to cut you off. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Omaomi, aka Petty Diva. And in this video, we are checking out how some women found out that their partners were cheating and what they did afterwards so let's check out some story times some reaction videos and then i will come back to share my thoughts come to my attention that you don't know why latinos don't f with george lopez and i'm here to tell you why george lopez was literally dying mm -hmm. he had a genetic kidney disease mm -hmm. that was going to kill him and in fact during the season four of the george lopez show he told his wife and serrano i'm dying mm -hmm. i know i'm dying he was he really was dying what do you call this fruit in your country? We call it jocote. George was either going to get a transplant or he was going to die. Wow. So his wife, Anne, got tested. Come to find out, she was the perfect match. Wow. They go into the surgery. It was beautiful. She gave him a rosary and a little note that said, you know, I'm doing this for you. I'm also doing it for our daughter. I mean, it was beautiful. Everything went well. Surgery was a major success. George's body did not reject the new kidney. Within weeks, George Lopez was back in the golf course. Mm -hmm. And then we find out that he was cheating on Anne before the transplant and after the transplant. <laughs> Says that he's a flawed man because at the time he was an alcoholic and he comes from a dysfunctional family listen mm -hmm. at some point you're you need to grow up mm -hmm. you can't carry the yeah well you know i come from a really rough background no grow up we all come from drama at some point in our lives well she filed for divorce my like <laughs> he was cheating before the kidney transplant he continued cheating after the kidney transplant the kidney that was transplanted from his wife he did not have the sense that god gave a human being to know that he should not do that kind of thing to someone that literally gave him a new lease of life literally saved his life like oh my goodness how can some men be so oh like it's like they buy their audacity from somewhere that i don't know because you were dying and someone saved your life and you could not even be faithful to that person man if she if she had decided to take her back a kidney if she could nobody would have blamed her because it's just ridiculous and then he's now using family history and the rest instead of taking accountability. So men are just like that. They cannot take responsibility for anything. They will be pushing it to others. Either it's their family problem or it's their mother that made them like that. It's their sister that did like that. Never taking accountability for anything they do wrong. They will push it to their children, push it to their wife. You made me do it instead of saying I did it. It's, oh God, that, that's, that's just terrible. Anyway, let's continue. Wow. Ah. I'm sorry. <laughs> We've been together 10 fucking years. We just got a house. That way he chose to deal with me and his kids. I'm 
when God made this girl, he did not miss. She hit on all different Man. angles. All different angles. If it's a question of my heart, you got it. It don't belong to anyone but you. Yeah, if it's a question of my life. Just got married 19 days ago and um, just found out yesterday that my husband um, has been, I don't know, uh, talking to other people, making arrangements, cheating. Um, he received a late call last night, said it was a scam call. And, um, bitch, it is 10 p.m. There is no scam call calling you at 10 p.m. Like, what the fuck do these guys think? Like, you just make shit out of your ass? Like, I really want to know. I, I really do. Like, did you not think that I was going to think, like, that doesn't sound right, a scam call at 10 p.m.? And if that wasn't tragic enough, this motherfucker comes home with some flowers and asks if he can go out with his friends today for one of his friends' birthdays. You know, I would want the fucker, but I have kids to raise. And um, unfortunately for this one, it's he's just not worth it for me at all. Um, and, you know, to put the cherry on top, his location and his phone are off now. I say all this to say that um, do not stay in a relationship um, because you have no way out. Um, I am being very calculated, um, you know, now moving forward uh, because there is no way in that I'm going to spend the rest of my life married to someone like this. A lot of you guys keep saying that you guys get um, spam calls at night and that I could just track the number um da, 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 and it's like no that's not really what happened so i was very vague on my two videos that i made um but basically what happened was he said it was a scam call i said fuck no it's not nice, um he positioned his body in a way where he was like about to like delete something and i was like fuck no and i hovered over his shoulder and i was like show me your phone he shows me his phone and um, it's a f missed call from a saved number. It has a name, y'all, on it. It's a f name on it, okay? And not only one, two missed calls, there was seven missed calls addition to that. And when we went to the messages, it said, do you want to do something tonight or what? Oh. <laughs> what is it it <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Wow. Let's 
Where's your mama gone? Where's your mama gone? Where's your mama gone? Where's your mama gone? Far, far away. Ooh, chirpy, chirpy. Hey guys, so I've known my boyfriend has been cheating on me for about four days. He has been cheating with not one, not two, but three lovely ladies. So in those four days, I gathered all the evidence I could find and decided to make him this lovely new wallpaper. It took me about two hours to super glue all of the proof to his wall, but I definitely thought it was worth it. Here is the end result. As you can see, it is a masterpiece that I'm sure he's going to love. I also made sure to get his wow. mirror because he probably won't be able to look at himself after this. Now, any girl that comes over, I got cheated on two weeks ago, and wow. I'm really just needing an outlet at this point to process my emotions and what I've been through. And I know it doesn't make any sense. Like, why are you, why aren't you talking? It's, it's exhausting talking to people. It's exhausting talking to people that you know about the situation because you're already humiliated. You're already embarrassed. So that's why I'm here. Mm -hmm. And I don't really care who sees it. And I don't care about anything. No judgment. I don't give a... This, if anything, this experience has taught me that you don't really know anybody. You don't know anybody. Even the people that you think you know, you don't know. Anyways, I've been with this man for seven years. <laughs> seven years, okay? This is not a new relationship. This was my man. Like, this was my partner. This is somebody who I've been through life with that I know inside and out, that knows me inside and out. We have a family, we have a house, everything. He cheated on me and lied several times about it and I had no clue. I only found out because the night that he did this, I promise you, my intuition was going crazy that night. Like I knew something was happening and I can't explain it. I've never felt like that before. I've never had a reason to think that he would ever lie to me. So I can't even explain why I got those feelings. But that night he was at a work event it always starts at work. He was at a work event and ended up staying three hours later than he was supposed to leave. And so I texted him and I'm just like, where are you at? Like, what's going on? Are you okay? Like, what's going on? He texted me and said, oh, I'm just with my boss and his male coworker. So his boss and his male coworker. And we're just shooting basketball. We're going to take some pictures and then we're going to leave. I knew he was lying instantly hmm. as soon as he said that. Anyways, he gets wow. home and goes to sleep. I'm still working at this time. So nothing to talk about really. And when I get off work, I go to the room, I see him asleep, and like I said, I was my gut was telling me something was up. So what I do, I went through that phone. I did. I went through that phone. And ladies, if you go through somebody's phone, be prepared to leave. Anyways, I went through his phone and I seen I saw two cash apps from two of his female coworkers at 8 p.m. Which made no sense to me because he said that by 6 p.m. it was just him and his boss and his male coworker. So why are they sending you cash apps at 8 p.m.? Mm -hmm. Welcome up at his sleep, sir. I need you to, to wake up. Explain to me why you got these cash apps from these two girls. Oh, Mallory, yeah, they were there, actually. I was there. They were there um, until 8 p.m. You know, I was with them, actually, my, my two female coworkers. I just didn't, didn't want to tell you because I knew you would get mad, but nothing lied. happened. Okay, so now you're a liar. So now I'm finding out for the first time in seven years that you're a liar. <laughs> hmm. So we had that little, we had that little argument because I was already mad about that. I was mad that you lied to me, and then I was like, okay, I'm, I'm about to go. I'm going to go to sleep in the other one, oh, the other room, right? 
I go to sleep in the other room, couldn't sleep, tossing and turning. Literally, every time I close my eyes, I'm like, this man's lying to me, go through his phone again. What did I do? Went back to the room, went back through his phone again, and what did I see? I went through his search history this time, and I found that he had searched, can you take a plan B while on birth control? I'm not on birth control. As a matter of fact, I'm on my cycle this week. Why would you be searching this? <laughs> Work, woke him up again, out of his sleep, because this man is still asleep. Woke him up and said, what, what is this? What are you, what's going on? Tell me the truth. I'm pressing him. He's steady lying, steady making up things. Oh, my coworker just asked me. She just wanted to know because she had slept with her husband. Mind you, she's married. She's in a relationship. She has slept with him and she wanted to know, like, wow. can she take a, a plan B while she's on birth? That made no sense whatsoever. Pressing him some more. Tell me the truth before I crash out and lose it and lose it. Finally tells me the truth. Breaks down. He breaks down in tears. My stomach drops to the bottom of my feet. I can't even process what he's just told me that he cheated on me with her that night. Can't even process it. Wow. Like I said, I don't know where some men buy their audacity. Honestly, where do they buy their audacity? That George Lopez story was just not it at all. That's just terrible behavior. Um, some of the women went crazy, like killing the man's car. That's 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 it's not a criminal. I think there's a crime um that woman that poured this mother's ashes in the dustbin jeez that's a whole nother level of petty and the lady that found out that her boyfriend was cheating after she had an intuition that he was cheating and she checked his phone and and she said if you check your man's phone you should be ready to leave um i think that 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 statement that she made is actually true get ready to leave if you check your man's phone because you might see what you don't like and you might have to leave so i've had situations where i found out that they were playing different people through the phone now the first one i actually actively checked the phone that I saw some messages and I was asking the person some questions and the person was denying it and saying, oh, I just went there for something. Meanwhile, from the messages I was seeing, it was not just an innocent visit. And that was when I just had an idea that this person is being dubious. Even though some of my male friends had tried to warn me about the guy, but then I didn't understand what they were trying to say. Um, I eventually found out what they were trying to say on my own. Um, then the second time um, was when someone checked his Facebook on my phone and forgot to log out. So I opened my phone, I opened my Facebook app, I, and I was like, these messages I'm seeing, these people I'm seeing are not people that I know. And then I saw a particular person that I knew because he said that was his ex-girlfriend um and i saw the messages that i was sending to the ex-girlfriend and it did not look like the ex-girlfriend was an ex it looked like the ex-girlfriend was the main girlfriend and i was the side piece and when i read enough to know that i was the side piece and the guy was lying i confronted him and i was like this and this and this happened and you are lying to me and i was like how did you know i said you left your facebook um, page open on my phone and i checked it so um that was how i kind of got out of that one kind of because then again sometimes those things hit you and you don't want to leave until you have to leave anyway so i kind of agree with that statement that if you check your man's phone get ready to leave because you might see something that you would not like now um uh, it's just crazy how some men cheat without even thinking about their partner and then when they get caught they begin to say all sorts some people will say oh it's the devil's work, uh, hand work um and some people will excuse them especially in nigeria and africa you'll be hearing all men cheat so don't walk out of your relationship don't walk out of your marriage because your man is cheating so they've given them the opportunity the permission everything to do as they like and then when the women respond in whatever way they want to respond that is not the standard of close your eyes and just continue and try and make him happy so that he will not step outside 
they begin to abuse the lady they begin to say oh that they are not acting well and um if they react like um throwing their things outside or keying their car it might look a particular kind of way to the society but people don't understand that being cheated on can be very painful and um any way that the woman wants to react as long as it's not illegal or it's not criminal um i can't really blame them now that lady that gave the boyfriend all the messages that he has been sending to other women as his christmas present <laughs> that was being very petty the guy had nothing to say then merry christmas <laughs> he knew he was caught he just did not see that he would get caught and he could not react in any way besides say merry christmas Anyway, i don't know what you guys think about this whole video um i would love to hear what you think about the way some of the women approach the men that were cheating i would love to hear your thoughts about what george lucas did and um, that was a shocking story for me to hear like you're cheating before your kidney transplant you're cheating after the kidney transplant to someone that gave you her kidney um that 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 really shocked me but i would love to hear what you think about the whole story um uh, so please leave your comments in the comment section so that we can get this discussion popping now if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you are not yet subscribed and you like videos such as this please consider subscribing by clicking on the red button that says subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell notification icon by the side so that you're notified anytime i upload videos now with all that said thank you so much for watching i hope to see you in the next one bye